What happened in Zimbabwe? <laughs> yeah, uh, at that moment of time, it was um, it was not really clear. I, I I was national team coach of Namibia. I uh, was doing very good with Namibia, a little bit similar to what I did now with Gambia. Uh, I had uh, I had signed first a four-month contract, then a four-year extension. And after two and a half years' uh, time, I got offers from Angola. I got offers from Zimbabwe national team. Um, I spoke with them and I thought at that time, I was young, I was 37 years old, I thought that Zimbabwe had more potential than, than Namibia. Uh, many players like Nolich Mosona, uh, Niasha Mushwekwe, a lot of players in South Africa, but also in Europe playing. Um, and I thought it would be a good step forward for me to, to have more chances to qualify for Africa Cup. So um, I, I agreed a four-year contract with them. I signed a four-year contract with uh, with uh, Zimbabwe. I resigned in, in Namibia. People were very angry for that, that I left Namibia because Namibia is one of the best places I ever worked and fantastic federation, lovely people and everything. Um, but I, I made my selection. My At that time, assistant coach was uh, Norman Mapesa. He was the former head coach. And I made my selection and I selected about 20 players who played abroad and five players in the local league. And the, the coach before me, Norman Mapesa, he selected before 20 local base players. And I started my, my first training on Monday. And on Tuesday, uh, during training, uh, the general secretary come to me and say, coach, you need to leave the, the country now. Uh, and it was five days before we had to play Cape Verde because um, the government want to arrest you because you are working without work permit. But... I was already working there. Maybe I had signed a contract, have UEFA pro license. Uh, so I have all the degrees needed. If you don't get a work permit for a coach of, of this experience plus this education, uh, I don't understand. So I had to leave training, stop training. At night, I had to go by car to Botswana. Very scary moments. Um, I got stopped by the police at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, and he looked at me and said, oh, you the coach? I said, yes, sir. And he said, good coach, good coach. And he let me go. But I never could return. And um, it was not clear what happened. But two years later, it came out that Norman Mapesa, my assistant coach and the former head coach, he was involved in match fixing together with some people. They were losing games on purpose with the national team of Zimbabwe. They lost against Syria. They lost against uh, Thailand friendly games. And probably that was the reason that he wanted to select not professional players from Europe, but local based players who would accept easier money to, to lose games. Before I came, uh, Benjani Mawara, ex uh, Portsmouth, Legburn Rovers, uh, Manchester City, he was not selected. I selected him. I'm, I'm the last coach who selected him because after the, I left or I had to leave, uh, he said uh, he, he would not play anymore for Zimbabwe. But um, yeah, it, it, Zimbabwe was involved in, in match fixing. And I wanted to win matches and probably they saw, who oh, this coach, uh, we cannot manipulate this coach. They, they, they chased me out because of that, uh, I think. So about a crazy story. So uh, I always said uh, I'm, I'm probably the only coach who never lost with Zimbabwe because I never played the match. So. <laughs>